guys, it's Cindy A. Lewis and it's Sunday afternoon and I have another DIY with a cookie pan from the Dollar Tree for you. So stay tuned to see how I use these cookie pans for a very lovely memory gift for Christmas. Okay, so we're gonna take, I'm gonna do two. Um, you could just do one and I may even do another one just to see how it turns out. But what we're gonna do is we're going to take a recipe from say your grandmother. Like I have this recipe for my grandmother. It's a butter cake recipe. It, it's actually in my mother's handwriting, not my grandmother's, but it would be really cool if you could get it from a relative that, you know, you don't have, um, you know, like you're not able to talk to them anymore. We're gonna take this recipe card and enlarge it. So you'll need to do that. And we're gonna paint these cookie sheets and we're gonna make a really cute um, magnetic board for the kitchen of whomever you would like to give it to. And it's a memory craft because you'll always have this recipe in front of you to remember the person that wrote it. So first we have to spray paint the cookie pan in case you don't want the silver. I'm going to do a black and a uh, red. So I'm going to do two, one in black and one in red, and these are just spray paint from Walmart. And then I enlarged this recipe to fit on basically an eight and a half by 11, which way, eight and a half by 11, and it has a little space at the top and the bottom. And so I may put some decoration there, like kitchen or grandma or something like that. And then I'm going to add a couple of little things and some magnets to it, and then we can hang it in the kitchen. And it's gonna be so neat and such a sweet memory. I'm gonna make one for my sister. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, so what we need to do next is, after we've painted the cookie sheet, if you choose to do that or you don't have to, then you need to make a copy of your favorite recipe that you're going to be creating. This memory board for is what I'm calling it, a memory board, it's magnetic. And I'm using my grandmother's butter cake recipe that is handwritten by my mom. And this is a really special recipe. It's one of my favorites that my grandmother used to make when I was growing up. Okay, so once you've made a copy, I recommend using a little bit thicker bond paper, not cardstock, but not the regular 20 pound copy paper. It's a little bit thin, and I'll show you why here in a little bit. Um, but this is watercolor paper, and I'm hoping that this will be a good weight for this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Mod Podge, Mod Podge, and I'm going to um, put the, uh, adhere the paper to my sheet. And then for this one, and you can do them as however you want, with this sticker from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to use Memories Are Created, and I'm going to put that sticker there. And then uh, we'll cover this with, so I'm gonna use the polyurethane. You can use a clear acrylic. <laughs> I do recommend letting your Mod Podge set for a few minutes before putting your paper on. Allow it to get a little bit tacky and then put your your paper or whatever it is that you're gluing down. This in ca this case is our recipe. And then once that sort of dries, then put your top coat on. And I think you will ha see that you have less little bubbles in your paper. Okay, once you get your Mod Podge on there and let it dry, you may want to leave it for a couple of coats. Um, you can set that aside and let it dry. And then after it's sufficient to what your liking is, I did put a sealer on mine and you may want to do that as well because this is going to go in the kitchen and I want it to, to look nice. 
and to last. Now you can decorate it however you like. There's all kinds of magnets, there's all kinds of you know decorative things. I'm going to show you one that I finished. Um, I will tell you that this one had the thinner paper so you'll see the difference there. So let me show you. Okay, this is the one that I finished. You can see the thinner paper um, has some, you can tell it has some different like, it looks like you can see through it here, but I also think it gives it character as well. Did use scrapbook paper here. This is a stickers from the Dollar Tree. This is all uh, Dollar Tree. Um, this is this clip is from the Dollar Tree. It's magnetic. These magnets are from the Dollar Tree. This little basket and these hooks again are the two two pound self adhesive hooks and the little basket um, on the bottom. Just use some scrap of paper on the ends on this particular one to go with the silver. I did hang these with command hooks, like poster type hooks. They hold up to 16 pounds and um, it's really, really cute. I'm so happy with it and I can't wait to finish my other ones. But I did want to show it to you and let you see it. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll be able to make a memory gift um, magnetic board with a recipe board. So I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope that you will. Just click the button below and then you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Thanks. Bye.